It's Laura Eubanks of Design for Serenity with your succulent tip of the day and the grand reveal in Carlsbad Cliffs. If my energy seems a little low, it's not. I'm just feeling so damn serene I can hardly stand it. Uh, holy moly. Yes, our client was so concerned about the Daimondia and it had just gotten so away from her with all of the weeds. And I wasn't sure, I, you know, I never am, but I wasn't sure exactly how this was gonna go until we got the Daimondia out. You know, I was, just wasn't sure about how much uh, space I was gonna have to fill and so on, but she's thrilled. She loves the idea of this being more of a specimen garden. I was able to bring her in six or seven new varieties of mangaves. We're gonna try some Alloplicatillus again brought her the three green balls. We resized and rehomed all of our Ionians. They look so good underneath those agaves. The little pop of color in the sticks on fire and that Aluaudia procera. Oh my gosh, it's just spectacular. She also loves Aeonium sunburst. So this is a little bit of a tricky microclimate and therefore I decided to just fluff up the two presentations of sunburst that she already had rather than add more in other places. So, you know, we took a truckload of plant material out of here and I also added black creva instead of white. I thought it would be fun and also her shells would pop more with the uh, against the black so we got a little black sand beach i love the barrel cactus and then repeating with the green balls um, flanking with the mature agaves we brought in another thing you know we brought in lava boulders because we just couldn't bring three or four hundred pound rocks down those stairs and I love them against the existing rock, which was uh, Baja Cresta. It's such a nice contrast, such a nice compliment. And yeah, I think that's bad hair day, yeah. Um, just loving this. Greg had didn't have much to do at all with irrigation. There was a couple of things he had to cap. Uh, he fixed some lights that were already here. I popped in quite a few more barrel cactus. I love these little multis that I got at Sun Valley. I've got, I believe three, yeah, one, two, three presentations of the multis in this garden. And since she doesn't water very often, I don't expect them to grow too rapidly. Uh, next step, oh, and this was four full yards of lava. I'd forgotten, we've been working, yeah, I've been working with three eighths for so long, I forgot that the three quarter doesn't spread as well. So where I thought we needed two yards, we needed four. And the guys were so fast moving that down the stairs in trash cans and buckets and really got it offloaded in record time. It was, I mean, they just did a fabulous job. The kind of, Peace Day Resistance was me going after her pots and tightening them up, cleaning them, resetting the plants, top dressing with fun uh, top dressings, our beautiful mangave collection. We're inspired, she and I, to look for additional varieties of mangave and really uh, flesh out this area right here with mangaves in pots our little bromeliads and um, got top dressed and I love the red lava with the bromeliads it's just so tropical looking and this is just a lot more a lot more dialed in looking I gave her pack of po or little pack of podium the treatment over here this is very much alive but it was in a pot over on the other, in this pot, und, undressed, um, didn't get any sun and no water, as dry as a bone. So I watered it, I moved it over to this side where it would get some sunshine and I think that's gonna pop right out and do fantastic. So 
Next stop is her front yard. I can't get to it until the 1st of March, um, which is okay because she's got some demo to do up there. There's some palm trees that are coming out. And we'll get that all done up. Um, then we're gonna be taking over the maintenance on this, on this property. No more gardener. It's gonna be D Team DFS once a month, keeping everything looking basically like you see it right now. Um, just so happy for the opportunity to do that. And you all will be able to see this garden a lot more often if we're here every month, right? So that'll be fun. You can watch it grow with us. So yeah, uh, I guess that's about all I got for, for today. I appreciate all of your comments. Appreciate all of you sharing this video with your garden loving friends and look forward to seeing you next week when I do some consulting with a DIY client in Granite Hills, which is in East County of San Diego. She's gonna do the installation herself and I'm just gonna point. So that should be interesting. I'll take you along for that as well. This has been Laura Eubanks reporting for Team DFS in Carlsbad Cliffs with your grand reveal and your succulent tip of the day. Bye guys.